Dr. Prasanna Kumar Jain to address the gathering. initiative certainly comes under the academia as well as international outreach and that is the reason when Dr. Shrimati Kesan invited us and I immediately readily agreed uh, as a part of uh, our activity and that's why I was telling her we are all together in this uh, initiative. Uh, under promotion, the members of the press, Space Kids India team and my loving students from Northern Uni and India and everybody present here today. In the special on a day, one day, the week, space week, Navaratri, the first day. So, that date, I the start of the day, I am happy. I am happy. I am moment in doing as today, we hope that you will carry the story of this moment far beyond this room, inspiring countless students across India and Sri Lanka with a narrative of innovation and collaboration, a heart of creativity and research. We are pursuing many initiatives to push the boundaries of knowledge. Today, we are proud to announce Northern UniSat project, a satellite that will be constructed by the students from Sri Lanka and India at Northern Uni Jaffna and will be launched in India by ISRO by next year. This project is not just about building technology. It is about building a future, one in which young people from different nations, most importantly, Sri Lanka and India, comes together to push the boundaries of science and technology. I'll give you a, a prepared speech. Thereafter, I can speak something in also. So on behalf of the Deputy High Commission of Sri Lanka in Chennai, today I am deeply honoured to witness this wonderful initiative of Northern Uni to collaborate with Space Kids India to initiate the Student Satellite Launch Program. Signing off and it will be shown to the press as well. MOU signing as a memorandum of understanding has been signed by our dignitaries, Mr. Inji, sir, and uh, Shrimati Ma'am. Everybody, a round of applause. Nalo, and Madam Anakara Gushu and Pulam. Thank you. Thank you so much. SATCOM applications like tele education, tele medicine. VSAT network configuration design, link analysis, and etc. 
He has also been associated with the planning of INSAT and GSAT system and various SATCOM applications undertaken by ISRO, spacecraft and ground system technology development, procuring launch services for geosatellites, spacecraft insurance and so on. He has worked for the planning and implementation of satellite communication and navigation programs that includes planning new satellites and 